name is Kian, and I am the Associate Director of Operations here at ACE in Flagstaff, Arizona. And today we are going to be having a discussion about your basic camp essentials. Things like uh, your tent and then what goes in your tent. So we're going to be talking about sleeping pads a little bit and sleeping bags and then some of the other accoutrement you might have in your tent. So we're going to start off just talking about tents. Uh, ACE provides you with a tent. This is an ACE tent right here. Uh, suggests that you use our tents. If you have your own tent and you want to use it, you're more than welcome to. Uh, but here in the southwest, it's very, very sunny. And the UV from the sun will actually damage your rain fly um, relatively quickly. We know that that's going to happen. We're prepared for it. Uh, so we buy extra rain flies uh, for our tents that we provide. So again, you can use your own, but we suggest that you use ours. Alright, so the next thing, once you have your tent set up, you're going to want to put your sleeping pad in it. Now there's a lot of different options out there for sleeping pads. You can spend a lot of money, um, or you can spend very little money. Uh, on the cheaper side, you have foam pads. Uh, these come in a, a lot of different varieties themselves, but the nice thing about them is they're cheap and they're effective. And they're very light as well. Um, this is actually obviously two set up together. Uh, here in the desert, uh, especially when you get down into the southern parts of the state, it's very, uh, a lot of plants are very angry uh, and a lot of thorns. So the nice thing is, and you can see there's some kind of gouges in this one, it doesn't affect its viability at all. And like I said, they're very cheap. Another option that people like a lot are the kind of the blow up thermarest option. You see these, uh, this one is rolled up pretty small, so they're really nice if you're going to be going into the back country. Um, and then these blow up. One of the things you need to be careful with a sleeping pad like this is that it can pop. Um, and if it pops when you're down in the desert, you know, it hits stuck with a cactus thorn, then you're kind of out of luck as far as a pad goes. So one of the things that I sometimes do is I'll have a foam pad and then also bring the Thermarest or a pad similar to this uh, <clears throat> just in case it does pop and also to double up on, on some comfort. Uh, these range probably in the area from like $40, $50 to you know, over a hundred. So it starts to get pricey. Uh, and then if you're feeling particularly bougie or you, you know, really like to be very comfortable when you sleep, we have a much larger pad that you can get as well. Um, these are like the base camp models. This one blows up to be about two inches thick. Uh, and they're very, very nice, but you're looking at a much pricier element here. Uh, this could be 150, $200. So, uh, <clears throat> I always uh, have found that starting with a cheaper um, pad is probably your best bet. Um, I think there's a lot of other places to spend money on, on outdoor gear, uh, which all of which is pretty expensive. So uh, for me, I think the foam pad and one of the cheaper Thermarest style pads is it would be great for anyone to use. Um, all right, so you have your sleeping pad. So the next thing, that we would want to use and set up is our tech, um, excuse me, our sleeping bag. So I have two sleeping bags here with me. This is a zero degree synthetic bag uh, near my North Face. I've had this one for six or seven years uh, and it works really well. There are a lot of pros and cons with synthetic bags. One of the biggest pros is that they're much cheaper than down bags. Uh, also, they'll keep you warm even if they get wet, which is important. A uh, couple things to keep in mind with them though, mine's a zero degree bag. That rating will change uh, over time. It's gonna go up. You know, it's a zero degree bag. When it started, probably now it's a 10 degree bag, maybe a 15 degree bag. And they just wear over time. But two things that makes them lose that rating fast are if they get very dirty, and then also if you wash them, which is, really unfortunate. So one of the things you can do to avoid getting them dirty is to use a sleeping bag liner. Uh, they come in a lot of different uh, materials. You can get them in cotton, you can get them in fleece. Uh, I've even heard they come in silk, though I've never seen one. 
Uh, so they can be good. They can also help to increase the rating of your bag um, in, a, in a positive direction, making it warmer. What you do, which is what I personally do, is I just have a blanket. I have like just a little fleece blanket um, that I put in my tent, excuse me, in my sleeping bag. And it keeps, helps keep me warm, helps to keep my bag cleaner. Um, and it's very comfortable. I like it. Uh, other thing to keep in mind about synthetic bags uh, for women is that the rating is different for men and for women. So if you're looking for a used bag as, as a woman, be aware that the ratings, uh, a zero degree bag for a man is closer to a 10 or 15 degree bag for a woman. Men tend to run hotter and the bags are rated differently. So I also brought along my down bag. This is a 3550 flip, meaning that depending on what side of the bag you have up, it's either a 35 degree bag or a 50 degree bag. Uh, down bags are much more expensive than synthetic bags. Uh, and the other thing to note that's very important is that if this bag gets wet, it's useless, utterly useless for you. Uh, so you need to be aware of that. They, the really nice thing about down bags is they're very, very light. Uh, and they pack, they compress really, really, really well. So if you're going to go into the back country, you know, you can get this bag down to just about nothing. Um, weighs just about nothing. Uh, it won't take up much room in your, in your bag. So that's really nice. Um, and they are very comfortable. It is like sleeping in a cloud. Uh, the other thing I have here is I brought a pillow. If you're in the front country, you might want to have a pillow that you bring in the field. Oftentimes, folks will just use their clothes as like a pillow and they'll um, kind of sleep on that, which after four or five days of manual labor can kind of get gross. So my suggestion uh, for all of you, if you decide to go that track, is to just get a pillow case. You can find them in secondhand stores here. Grab a pillow case, shovel all your clothes in it, and you can use that as a pillow, but it gives you a cleaner surface to put your face on. Uh, going back to bags, I think it's really nice to have a good sleeping bag. So between a sleeping bag or a sleeping pad, I'd be more inclined to put my money into a nice, a nice bag. Also, you probably don't need anything much warmer than a 15 degree bag here. If uh, we're going to be in weather that's colder than that, you can always double up, um, get extra blankets, um, do other things to increase the warmth without having to spend the extra money to get a zero degree bag.